Canberra's wineries were heading for a perfect harvest this year, but then the rain came. Some growers have lost entire crops to the big wet. For others, the impact has been less drastic. But for all the vine vineyards, it's now waiting game to see if the dry weather can hold out and see at least some of the crops fulfil their potential. The signs of all that rain are abundantly clear and wineries at Lake George have had their fair share. But now with the sunshine out, the harvest is underway. We did rush in and pick uh, a number of rows uh, very early. Um, Pinot Gris and um, Chardonnay for white wines. Well, we're picking it much earlier than we normally do because we have to. So we get much more higher acid wines, but still with all the flavours there. It's the second wet year in a row. Last year, rot almost completely wiped out the Merlot crop here at Lerida. And the later red varieties once again hang in the balance. At the Mount Majura vineyard, it's a similar story. The Chardonnay is already in the barrel, but the winery's flagship variety, the Tempranillo, still needs several weeks to ripen. So there's a little bit of disease out there and we hope we'll be able to keep on top of that. It's just going to be a really wait and see game. It's a race between ripening and rot. Complicating matters is that in a cool year, many of the varieties tend to ripen at the same time, leaving little time to get the grapes off the vines and into the vats. It's very hard to find people. That's why we had to get all our friends out here uh, over the weekend because this crew was booked up for two weeks solid. But the forecast is far from grim for Canberra District wine growers, and every cloud has a silver lining. While last year the wet, cool harvest ruined many reds, it created ideal conditions for the rosé. No coincidence that 2011 has become a bestseller. And so, if the rain does return, there's at least one drop in this vintage Jim Lumbers can rely on. Anna Morrisseau, ABC News, Lake George.